I mean, cutting that up quite fine, aren't you, Kevin? Yeah, it's got to be cut <coughs> fine. Finally. We feel it. It's nice, nice. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. nice. It's got these big chunks hanging out. out. Really but you can change the flavour. Um, when you... Oh, really? Um, chop things. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Compared to, like, you know, grated carrot compared to carrot sticks. It just, oh, that's true. I didn't it's just that texture. Maybe it's more of the texture change. Yeah. Than the flavor, but... anything you like to these, so it's as little or as much as you like. Communications team, we've got so far communications team, and there's eight of us all together, uh, six communications team, got two gorgeous ladies here from the hospitality team, and this is Tara, and this is Cabal, and I'm Lizzie, and we have Jane on camera here, and we have John wonderfully conducting it, <laughs> and Vlad on sound. And we have Lena here on camera, and we have Glennis who's doing camera and also lighting work. So. We use um, rice paper rolls. So it's a pretty simple, um, pretty simple meal, and we're keeping it vegan. So um, the intention is to, part of the intention is to just show people that it's really quite easy to do vegan meals that taste great. It's not just about. You know, people feeling that vegetables are boring, um, making use of fresh herbs and um, uh, for flavours and just combining colours and textures um, because um, this is what naturally grows <laughs> um, as opposed to you know, um, processed foods <laughs> and things like that and, um, and not using meat. So you've got flavours like the tofu and um, and mushrooms that can be in place of meat. Um, I've marinated the tofu at the beginning, um, just in a bit of um, shoyu or tamari or soy sauce, um, with a little bit of ground cumin and coriander, a, a bit of cinnamon and cayenne pepper. And then I just gently cooked it up with um, garlic and fresh ginger. So whatever takes your fancy, you can leave things out, you can add in chilli, you can add other things, onion, you know, there's no rules here, you just follow your desires and um, your taste buds. Um, we've got a beautiful big salad made up as opposed to doing it the taco sort of style where you're sort of putting your different things together on the rice paper and then rolling it, we've just made one um, beautiful big salad, so it contains the um, wombok or Chinese cabbage, some bok choy, um, and um, some grated carrot and raw grated zucchini. We've got um, yep, capsicum. capsicum strips, daikon, daikon radish, and all those lovely herbs. Yep, the herbs are um, fresh coriander, um, Vietnamese mint, um, the normal traditional mint and uh, a, like a Thai basil um, and I've also got sprouts in there which I grew um, they're just alfalfa and radish um, or might have been broccoli sprouts I have so many sprouts on the go I can't remember <laughs> but I think it might be broccoli um, so you can add mung bean sprouts and um, you know any sprouts that you like they just again add flavour and texture so yeah, so we've tossed that through, and um, I'm just going to. Oh, we need to add the mushrooms actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we mm do. -hmm. The mushrooms have just been sitting in a little bit of olive oil and um, rags, which is a soy based um, seasoning um, liquid amino. So it's got lots of um, you know vitamins and things in it. You don't have to use that. Um, but it's just uh, just to give the bit of flavour through the, the vegetable mix. So. Um, and while you're tossing that camel, I'm just going to add a little bit of lime juice, a little bit of um, sesame oil. I don't want to make it too oily. Um, it's just, again, for a little bit of flavour. So I've used coconut oil, just a small cream. amount of coconut oil, thank you, for the um, tofu and, um, and a little bit of the sesame oil. So 
and I'll put it on really easy and really quick. You can use leftovers, you can put noodles into them, you can put avocado and whatever, and this is just hot water. Yeah, it's quite thin. It's not amazing. So when the water's hot, like you don't actually need to have them in for very long. So they, you just basically dip them and hold them in for a couple of seconds. You don't want to make them too full. That's probably heaps. And then a bit of tofu. Mm. Oh my and god. Then, um, so and then when rolling them, just uh, making it fairly tight, so just rolling it over. Does it break or is it yeah, quite stretchy? Can, okay. Well, it can break, that mm. one just did. Could you put another one on? Can you do two or is that too? Yeah. Too, um... Some people even um, uh, wrap them in nori sheets first and then the rice paper. I'll show you. Again. And, I'll show um, you. Yes, I'll show you. <laughs> And agave. I'm using agave um, to sweeten it. Um, and about a, probably a couple of tablespoons if that is it. I'm sorry I don't measure much um, things precisely, I just go with feeling. Darling. Well, we can add a bit of chili. I've got chili. All right. Let's add a bit of chili. What colour do you like a Thai chili? Thai chili. Thank you. Beautiful. Thank you, Tara. Quick and easy. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks, Now we're going to eat. Yeah.